Clinical Scenario A 35-year-old male presents to the clinic for routine follow-up. He is HIV positive and has been on antiretroviral therapy, ART, for the past five years. His current regimen includes a combination of tenofovir, emtricitabine, and ifavirenz. He has been adherent to his treatment and reports no significant side effects. His vital signs are BP-120 over 75 millimeters of mercury, heart rate 78 BPM, respiratory rate 18 per minute, temp 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit 37 degrees Celsius, and SPO 298% on room air. During his visit, the patient mentions a new onset of fever, night sweats, and unintentional weight loss over the past two weeks. On examination, he has generalized lymphadenopathy, and his CD4 count is 250 cells per L. His viral load is undetectable. Which of the following is the most likely cause of the patient's current symptoms? A. Acute HIV seroconversion. B. Opportunistic infection due to immunosuppression. C. Medication side effects from ifavirenz. D. Primary tuberculosis infection. E. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma associated with HIV. Answer. Opportunistic infection due to immunosuppression. Rationale. The patient's symptoms of fever, night sweats, weight loss, and generalized lymphadenopathy, along with a CD4 count of 250 cells per L suggest the possibility of an opportunistic infection. Despite being on ART with an undetectable viral load, the patient's CD4 count is still below the typical threshold for a fully effective immune system, usually above 500 cells per L. This leaves the patient vulnerable to infections that are commonly seen in immunocompromised individuals, even with a suppressed viral load. Regular monitoring of CD4 counts and vigilant screening for opportunistic infections are essential for people living with HIV.